residents of Ebenezer and Willard are sorting through damage caused by the overnight storms. Color 10 Cindy Moran is live at a home near Willard that saw some serious damage overnight. Sydney. Well, Bailey and Steve, we've been taking Farm Road 54 to look at some of the storm damage. We've seen a few uprooted trees and small limbs and branches on the ground, but nothing quite like what we're seeing at this house. You can see this massive tree split and proceeded to fall on this house here on Farm Road 54. Part of the tree breaking through the roof and you could even see the tree from inside the house. The homeowners actually let me inside the home and I could see part of the tree branch coming through the ceiling. The homeowner tells me they were up watching color 10 for the latest on weather conditions between 1 and 1 30 a.m. That's when they heard a loud noise and part of that ceiling fell. The homeowner did have a few scratches along with his daughter, but thank Thankfully, they are okay today. The family tells me this house is 30 years old and that massive tree was there when they moved in. But of course, it was not the only thing the storm took out. Another tree uprooted in the back, taking down a power line with it. The homeowner tells me electric crews were having to come here to cut down part of this tree so they could get access to that power line. Sounds like they still don't have power as of this hour. The family does tell me that they do have a tree removal company company coming tomorrow to try to get this massive tree out of their home. For now, reporting in Greene County, Sydney Moran, Color 10 News.